15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Engine's full power. And lift off of Transporter 7. Go Falcon, go Transporter. Vehicle's pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion nominal. plus 30 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex for east. We're currently throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q. Max Q is the maximum power and telemetry. Max Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see on ascent. That's the largest structural load yeah, on the Falcon vehicle. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Good callouts there and we are coming up on max Q in just a few seconds from now. Great news, we've passed through Max Q. Now with that, we do have a few events coming up here back to back. That will be Miko stage separation, stage one flip, SES one. And back chill has started. And the start of the boost back burn. Now Miko is main engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down all of those engines that you are seeing lit up on your screen. That will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Stage one will begin to make its journey back to Earth with stage one flip and the boost back burn. And the second stage will ignite the MVAC engine for the first time with SES one or second stage engine start one. And as a reminder, once we have stage separation, we should be able to see the shorter nozzle in there. You can actually see it on your screen. Stage. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Boost back shut down. And great call out. That concludes the boost back burn of the first stage as you saw that engine shut down. And on your right hand screen, that MVAC engine is still burning bright. Now the next. Stage one entry burn start up. There's that call out. You can see that. Engine 9 has relit for entry burn. Stage 1 entry burn shut down. And we have had Stage a, 1 FTS is saved. And we have had a successful one entry burn. As I mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster for the 10th time today and are targeting a land landing on LZ4, which is not too far from the launch pad. Stage one landing burn. Great call out there. That landing burn has begun. You can see it right there. Landing light deploy. Stage one landing burn. And as you saw and probably heard, we had a successful first stage landing at landing zone four. Successful cutoff. And back shot down. And there it is, right on time. Coming up next, we have the second burn of our MVAC. Nominal parking orbit. We have the second burn of our MVAC engine on board the second stage around the T plus 57 minute mark. We'll be back in about 45 minutes to bring you live coverage of SES-2, followed shortly after by the first 35 payload deployments. Pacific time.
Now we are just about 10 seconds away from the relight of our MVAC engine. This will be a quick two to three second burn. And we will have immediate shutdown of that MVAC engine after that a few second burn. MVAC ignition. And shut down. There it was very quick. Just waiting for confirmation. Expect loss of signal, Mauritius, HPK. And sounds like we had an expected loss of signal, but we did have a good SES-2. Nominal orbit insertion. And there's that call that we were looking for. We had a successful SES-2 and SECO-2, quick two second burn and confirmation of good orbit. So it looks like we are on track for payload deployments to start in just about three minutes.